Hi, Tom Cromer, Chairman of Spy Fox here. Whilst Mr Trump may be leaving the building, Spy Fox is staying put and we will weather the current COVID difficulties in the best possible shape. Since taking over the chairmanship of Spy Fox this year, I've been affectionately or unaffectionately renamed Chairman Homer Cromer. I took over the chairmanship from Andy Clark in February of this year and I would like to thank Andy on behalf of all at Spy Fox for his excellent stewardship of the charity over the preceding three years. I'd also like to thank him for the big hospital pass. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that I've had the Midas touch since taking over as chairman. Covid certainly put paid to that. Normally Spy Fox raises some £350 to £400,000 annually through our three principal events all of which is donated to very essential and deserving children's charities throughout Scotland. This year, our fundraising ability has been decimated. Whilst we did manage to host our very successful annual Golf Classic in September, our Glasgow lunch in May was cancelled, as is very disappointingly our Christmas carol concert and lunch. We understand that our Christmas lunch is the largest annual charitable lunch in Scotland, if not the whole of the UK. Normally, we would have over 1,600 of you partying and having a wee drink or ten in the EICC the week before Christmas. This time-lapse video shows the normal preparations for our lunch. It's an incredible day and a fantastic feat of organisation. I guess if there's one silver lining, it's not having to stand in person in front of 1,600 of you and avoiding the heckles and dodging the odd bread roll. Given that we are not able to hold our event this year, we have decided to run a 12 Days of Christmas Spy Fox virtual message on the 12 working days leading up to the day of our lunch, which would have taken place on the 18th of December. Our virtual messages will follow the theme of our Christmas event, our usual compere and great friend of Spy Fox, Mr Andy Nicholl, will orchestrate each day's message, introducing some familiar and well-kent Spy Fox faces to offer some humorous Christmas anecdotes. We will have messages from a number of the children's charities we have supported in recent years, outlining the benefits they have had from the money donated by you and by Spy Fox. Although we can't gather together, we would be delighted if you would consider donating. As always, all monies will be distributed to charities helping children or young adults in Scotland. The effects of the virus has been acute for Spy Fox and the charitable sector as a whole. Many, if not all, charities are experiencing very severe and debilitating difficulties. We are offering three types of specially commissioned Spy Fox pin badges and will have a small auction running over the course of the next two weeks with some really terrific prizes. Full details will be in our first message on 3rd December and also available on our website, LinkedIn and Twitter. Our hope is that you will enjoy our fun Christmas messages and as you have done over the last 35 years since Spy Fox inception, give as much as you possibly can in order that we can continue to support the many needy and essential children's charities that so desperately need our help. There are so many young children and adults in very vulnerable and difficult situations. They really need as much as we can possibly give them. It just remains for me to say very many thanks for listening and hopefully supporting our fundraising efforts. And from all at Spy Fox, we wish you a very merry and COVID-free Christmas and New Year when it comes. <laughs>